One of Hearthstone's core mechanics in the games of Standard and Wild are the hero powers. And I wanted to rate all the hero powers from best to worst on a tier list. So these are going to be all hero powers that are obtainable in Standard and Wild, including from classes to neutrals to any type of wacky epic cards that give you hero powers. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know what you think about my selections. I could be totally wrong here, so do not judge me. All right, so first we have Lightning Jolt. I think this is the one from the Shaman Weapon. It's the three mana, two, three, Death Rattle, replace your hero power with deal two damage. It's kind of cool. The effect is actually kind of nice. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the effect, but it is, lightning effects always seem pretty cool to me. Uh, and it is better than a hero power. I would probably put it in a C tier. Summon Pets, the Animal Companion. This thing has been really good. I think even in Wild, right? With the hero power. And it just creates a lot of like mid to late game effects. So I think, I think it's really good. I don't think it's like the best, but it does provide a lot of value. I'm thinking either A or B. I think it's an A because it just it just has you know consistency on summoning random three minions and and it's just almost endless they're always going to be really good so yeah i think i think that's right where it goes okay this card here is kind of insane right like this easy is an easy a possibly even an s but i don't think it's as problematic in in wild as it is in standard so you know i've been having that extra bit of uh, burst with the hero power. This is the introduction of all the hero power mage type archetypes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like I, I think it's, I think it's high up there. It has endless scaling, so that's what's really scary with it. And comboed with other cards uh, can also be rather scary. Grand Slam, I think, is another B to A tier. I want to say it's probably a B tier. We'll put it at B tier for now. I can't... It's definitely better than just dealing 2 damage because you have that honorable kill. And then doing 2 damage as an honorable kill actually is not that hard. So I would... It, it, it is always usually easy to proc off. And it's like a cool thing, you know, deal 2 damage, gain 4 armor. It, it kind of just does everything for it. So we'll start it off at B tier. Okay, sleight of hand reducing a card every single turn by two it's okay i don't i don't think this card was played mainly for the hero power so i think it's probably at a b tier now granted you could do some funky stuff so that's where the that's why i'm putting it in b tier maybe as opposed to like c tier but it, it it's it's been doing pretty good nurture okay well nurture has a really strong effect endless ramp which goes up you know almost endlessly up to 20 so with the combination of that i think yeah it's probably it's probably an a to s tier it's definitely the top of the chain of a tiers but i don't know what else puts it ahead we're gonna put it in a tier for now but i do think it's a contender for s okay blessing of queens i think this is a little bit of a weak effect but it's not the worst Definitely above sleight of hand because it has the endless buffing as long as you have a minion. Uh, this just becomes useless if you the, the later you get into the game. Uh, whereas Blessing of Queens has like endless, you know, hand buffing. So I think I think actually I think it's actually better than Grand Slam. So we're gonna put it ahead of Grand Slam because I think it's just, you know, a lot of you can do a lot of weird quirky stuff with it. But it, I don't think it's A tier, you know, you have to have a mid in your hand. These cards, you, they're just perfectly fine on their own. Okay, we have the Holy Touch and then the Shadow version here. Both of the these are technically combined as one together, so I'm not going to have them separate. They flip each turn, so there's, there's some inconsistency there. It's better than this. I think it's probably in between uh, Grand Slam and Sleight of Hand. And then, you know, with the whole hero power thing. I think it fits right there. Dealing 5 damage every other turn. It's not too bad. And then you're restoring 5 health. It's not too bad. 
Okay, this one. I think this hero power is actually the nut, but it's kind of hindered by the swapping like uh, throughout four effects. So it's not as consistent. You're not going to get it as best as possible, but the effects are really strong. A lot of them can you can probably consider about three mana effects. And which is kind of similar to summon pet, but the random consistency, you know, summon pet summons three, three chances, whereas this one is four with different effects. So I think it's, pro it's definitely high B tier because of the fact that it has an extra effect in it kind of is definitely not better than summon pet in some case, most cases. So yeah, I think, I think it's a B. Okay, the big red button. Now you're gonna, you guys are gonna probably judge me off of this, but this this hero power is not as strong as it used to be. You know, gaining seven armor is the highlight of it, but discovering a random mech, discovering a mech, summoning two one ones, those are like one to two mana effects. Uh, for and for a hero power, a hero card hero power, it's kind of weak. So I'm putting it at C tier. Okay, Die Insect. This this hero power specifically is based off of when your hero is replaced with, with Ragnaros. So, you know, with that considered in mind, you know, you are Ragnaros, you get that little extra buff. And then dealing 8 damage to a random enemy, that's roughly about a 3 mana effect. But there is some randomness, it's not very consistent. It, it's kind of hard to say. Hmm... Definitely not better here because this these are all consistent areas and I don't think it's a B tier. It's kind of a niche C tier type thing, you know, dealing a damage to a random enemy. Yeah, it's pretty good. If they have if they have nothing, you always hit face. But if they do, you know, I don't know. It could actually be a little bit worse because if your min if your enemy has like uh, just floods the board, then this becomes a useless hero power, right? It might even be worse than giant lightning jolt, but we're not, we'll just leave it here. For, for discussion. Okay, Demonic Blast. I think this is really good. I think it's actually a uh, high C tier. You know, I mean, there is two uses with it, so it's not like the best, but two mana deal eight damage. It's basically this, but you're targeting it over a course of time. So it's definitely better than Tie Insect. And then the big red button, you know, with the cons inconsistency of it, I think it's, it's better than that, so. I think it's a high C tier, and you know it. It, it is a limited resource, so as, as a hero power, as it gets swapped back to your normal one, it's perfectly fine. Galakron's might. I think this is possibly a low B tier. Be high C tier. I can't. It really depends. I don't know if. Yeah, it's probably at a B tier because there is a lot of like attack effects, you know, so you could use some of that. You, know, you can combine it with weapons. There's just like a lot of different things you can combine it with. So I, I think I think leaving it here is perfectly fine. Um, actually, possibly even right here because it, it's I think it's even better than Flight of Hand and you get the extra benefit of, you know, the effects of minions. One that I could think off the top of my head is that 3-3 Pirate that deals two damage to random enemies. That's the, uh, the type of effect I'm looking at. All right, the Rogue Galakron hero power. You know, nowadays, if, if you asked me when it was out, I would say this one was like S tier, but it's it's not. So I think, I think this one actually fits into another B tier, possibly higher than the Sleight of Hand. Right, right alongside, I think Galakrons might the hero power of it is technically better just for the extra aggression to end and win the game but it's not the best all right galakron's fury this one kind of falls into the same category as these i think it's a little bit worse off so you're probably looking at about here you know summoning two one ru elemental to rush isn't that important it's a it's truthfully a one mana effect kind of same as as this one but this one gives you endless value and lackeys are insanely strong so you know i i think it's i think it's a bit better or a bit worse than the other galakron hero powers looking at it now 
There definitely is some, so maybe this could be considered A tier, but it's lower than Summon Pet. Same with Blessing of Queens. These are, these are actually quite nice, right? I, I might consider even putting Grand Slam there, but you know. These for sure are like really good hero powers. You know, very strong, very effective. They do their own thing, so yeah, they probably deserve to be A tier. Okay, Galakron's Wit. I think it's a C. <laughs> Random Priest minions, mm, it's not as good as Lackeys, there are, it, especially in Wild, there are so many bad Priest minions that you can really just, you know, like low roll. Sometimes you can high roll, it'll feel good, sure, it's, that's why it's not like D or F tier, but, you know, it's, 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 it's infinite value, but like in the wrong ways, so, I think it's a C. Okay, we're looking at Mind Spike and Shadow Form version of Deal 2 is just so cool, right? Can like can we just admit that? Like now we're like these are the same effect, but these are going off of uh, different um animations and how they look. I think Shadow Form Mind Spike has a really cool look to it. And it turns your hero just like dark or whatever so any it's like it's like a it's like a chroma for your hero skins any hero skin you get they get a chroma it's a really cool effect mind shatter i mean no longer exists unfortunately but you know there is there is that deal three damage so it's it's kind of cool i kind of i kind of miss it you know the deal three i never got it that often but you know, for the chances you do get it, I mean, it's a... It was always really cool. Okay, Bewitch. After you play a minion, add a random shaman spell to your hand. I think this is a limited resource, but it's a shaman spell. And I and I believe shaman spells are better. So we're going to put this at a B tier. And what we're going to do here is we're going to shift these down to D. Because they truthfully are. But they are better overall. Very nice. These are nice. But Bewitch, after you play a minion, add a random shaman spell to your hand. Very good. It's a passive, so you don't even have to spend any mana on it. The requirement is you have to play a minion, so there is some limited resources if you don't have any. I think it's a really cool effect. I mean, it gives you... It's it's the same as Galakron's Wit, but, you know, the you don't have to pay mana. You just gotta play minions, which you will do eventually. So, I think it's quite good. And shaman spells are very strong, though. So. There, there's a lot of case use cases with with shaman spells. Okay, armor up. I think armor up is a D tier, as a as a fundamental hero power. I mean, of course. Now, mind you, with the basic hero powers and the upgraded hero powers, give them a little bit of you know lax because <laughs> we're going with quest hero powers and hero card hero powers. So you know, if I put any in a, a weird area, it's just for their old, overall fundamental. And I think armor up. Actually, it probably is above Mind Spike. Because Mind Spike just deals two damage, but there's some benefit on gaining two armor. So, honestly, I would put it over maybe Mind Shatter. Yeah, I would put it over Mind Shatter. Gaining two armor, especially with the new introduction of Odin, with other cards and such like that, you can make it a gain two armor and then also give your hero two plus two attack. So, there is that extra benefit. Along with other cards as well, there's a lot of synergies with armor, so very good. It's a it's a good D tier card and it's a good D tier hero power. You know, nothing to say. Tank up is a better version. I think this honestly belongs in C tier. There, there's very limited ways you can get it, but you know, clearly it's just double the effects, double the benefits. Truthfully, I'd probably put it up to like right here, if you ask me. Gaining so much armor, this negates half of Die Insect, which is randomized, so you probably won't get it to your face all the time. And then Demonic Blast negates all of Demonic Blast's ab abilities if you just use it every turn. So I think it's a really strong CT. Okay, Totemic Call. Totemic Call should probably be probably roughly right about here. I think it's right below Big Red Button. Um, just because, you know, totem synergy is insane and, and there's like a lot of different uh, things you could do with like strength totem, uh, high rolling with a taunt. It's a really good for like, 
This is probably the strongest hero power we have now. It used to be like Silverhand Recruit um, way back when and, and, and Totemic Call, but you know, getting getting the random taunts or random like healing becomes super powerful as a basic hero power. So, and it you know, it still is better than Ragnaros because it deflects away from from the totemic call or, or from your face with totemic call. So, the upgraded version of it, I am not a fan. Uh, I guess it's technically better. But it's like, it's not, it's n honestly this, if I had to, these would be merged because this is, there's literally no choice. There's no, there's no point, you know? I mean, yes, you can have some consistency, but I feel like whenever you hit the button of Totemic Call, it's always going to be a good outcome. So it's like, you're not really, in some cases, consistency here will be present, but there's both at minor effects. It's almost irrelevant, so... Yeah, they're, they're right next to each other, obviously, because you get to choose, but very, very, like, they're squished right now. They're, like, shoulder to shoulder. Okay, the weapon. I think the weapon is strong. Um, I don't think it's better than, than Armor Up. Actually, Armor Up probably deserves to be in C tier. Mm, we'll put it here, D tier. But the, the weapon is really strong. I mean, okay, well, so... Yeah, this deals two damage over a course of time with some attack benefits. But yeah, I think I think it's here to be honest. These deal two, deal three damage. They're nice, but like with the weapon, there's a lot of different effects and swings you can do with it. You know, there, there's just so much you can do. Okay, so we're looking at this one, and if you ask me, it's around the same. Maybe a little bit better than armor up in this circumstance because it completely counters armor up in terms of value. So I think this is probably where it belongs. You know, very nice. There's not that much to say, but it is it, it is definitely a huge benefit. It has the same uh, uh, upsides like after your hero attacks type of effects and it kind of negates armor up here. So. Rightfully so, it belongs where it belongs. Okay, Reinforce. I think Reinforce is probably down here in the D tier section. Simply because they... Again, they used to be stronger, but they're not as strong anymore. So it's like not as good, if you ask me. Now, Silverhand, the upgraded version of Silverhand is actually like double the benefits, right? So I think it's probably around here uh, because you're summoning two one ones. It's really good. So I think the upgraded hero power of reinforce at least should deserve uh, some of that respect. And there's so much you can do with multiple buffs and multiple minions, a uh, lot of different effects. It has endless value, kind of similar to uh, Galakon's Fury and uh, Summon Pet. If anything, if you ask me, I think this is probably B tier. Yeah, I think it's a B tier. It's a low B tier item or hero power because it's it's actually like very good and there's there's actual synergy for it, right? So I think it deserves to be a B tier. It's very strong. Uh, I think it's one of the strongest in 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 all all the upgraded hero powers. Okay, we have Steady Shot. Um, steady Shot's cool. Not as good as these, though. Uh, so we'll put these in D tier. Because it deals only 2 damage to face. Ballista Shot is, however, a little bit better. I think it's on the same power level of Mind Shatter. Just slightly below it, though. Because it, it does the same deal 3 damage, and that's like kind of the same aggression. Okay, I'm going to change things up here. We're going to move these to A tier, S tier, because I, I was debating on both of them, and it's rightfully so. And we're going to move up some of these hero powers just a tad bit. Okay, the Druid hero power. With I, If it was previous, 
I would say the Druid Hero Power is at a F tier. It does worse than what it does worse than what uh, Demon Hunter does, and it does worse than what Warrior does. <laughs> so it's like it's a little bit of an in between, sure, but it's like not really that effective. But with the introduction of all the new synergy that they recently did, I think it has some some extra mention, but it definitely doesn't move it up to a D tier. And then same same with uh, Dire Shapeshift. In this case, I think it's a little bit better. It's definitely better than than like Steady Shot. It's probably up here at a D right right there, because of the fact that you can swing face. But if they have Taunt, like it's not the same as Steady Shot. You're gonna have to take some damage. A lot of times, like it's not as good. Uh, Fire Blast. We're looking at probably. It, now, if you this may be biased, but I think Fire Blast is better than Steady Shot. Because it does the same things uh, for half the damage, but you get to target anything. And I think that has a lot of different benefits for it. Uh, especially when you're like improving your hero power or dealing, uh, increasing the extra damage. You know, you can, you can have that extra benefit of that. Same with Fire Blast rank. It's up there. Same, same with it. But I don't think I don't think it's as cool of an animation as Fire Lightning Jolt, and I don't think it's as big as these other ones. So it's rightfully at the very bottom. But these are our D tiers. Very few F tiers. Now <laughs> I might be biased here, but I think Lesser Heal is kind of an F tier. Well, no, not necessarily. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's an F tier. Now, now you guys might be wondering like why like. Priest is so like control oriented, and I I do agree. The I mean, restoring two health is good, but it doesn't do the same thing as what the hero power of Ar Warrior does. You know, if if it ever came down to on turn two and you needed to hero power, you can hero power with the Warrior hero power uh, and actually gain two health. You can't do the same with lesser heal. Yes, you could target minions, but those minions also have to be weakened. So sometimes on certain turns, you get these random times where the hero power isn't as effective as as it would be. Now, granted, I think it's better than than shapeshift by a lot, <laughs> but I think I'm putting it in F tier just because I believe a lot of people will misplay by hero powering with this. Maybe even for like plus one health. Or they're just wasting a turn for, with it uh, when they could have done other things or it forces them to to play other cards because they can't use their hero power so as a hero power i think it's kind of weak now granted i think heal is very strong because when it when it becomes late so later in the game uh it does matter and if you ask me i think it's probably around uh above totemic slam and uh, restoring four health every single time, especially like in the later games type thing, becomes immensely powerful. Again, not as strong as Tank Up because Tank Up has some extra benefits, but you know the extra heal, all of that stuff. There's just there's just some of that. Okay, Demon Claws. Demon Claws is really good, and I think with the aggression it's better than fire blast now it, you're saying like oh it's not like it's still one damage but you're actually taking the damage but it's one mana like it's half the mana if, if anything if you ask me it's actually probably more like right here because it's half the mana of these you don't spend any mana on the deal damage and there's the benefit of like if your hero attacks effects so i think it's rightfully so should be a little bit at mid tier uh, at D. Did D mid tier. Demon's Bite. Demon's Bite is, is far superior here. Uh, it's practically like two of these. So I think it should be at a C tier with the hero powers. Again, much better. If you ask me, honestly, it could be even higher. Um, possibly even to like. It's honestly probably more like right here. Because it counters the to totems, it it counters some of the healing. You know, it's it's more consistent as opposed to like having a limited resource on demonic blast here. So I think right in the middle of C is really good, very strong. 
I think in Wild, they've seen some, you know, dangerous type combos with this hero power kind of posing a, a high aggression problem, so. And then Ghoul Charge. I think Ghoul Charge is cool, and because of the fact that you get extra corpses with it and the synergy with corpses, it's probably at a... It's probably, like, right here. There, there's gonna be some, like, undead synergies and all these different types of synergies that are included with it. So I think I think it's gonna be like right here to see. People are underestimating it. It's a charge minion. There's a lot of different buffs you can do to it. You know, minions with charge, I think they get extra benefit regardless. So yeah, needless to say, I think I think it's a really good hero power. All right, Ghoul Frenzy. Ghoul Frenzy is the better version of it. It counters totems and also counters or is better than demonic blast it's kind of hard to say which if it's better it does have charge it can get buffed so i think it is quite strong whether it's better than tank up is the real question summon another two to one goal yeah i think because it's like it's it's not permanent it's not going to be as better as tank up so right right there right below in c tier all right, Transmute Spirit. This is the transform a random friendly minion into one that costs one more. Man, I think this hero power is kind of weak. So you you guys might you guys might hate me for this, but I think this is an F tier. <laughs> I think this is an F. You're like, wait a minute, that's a hero card hero power. Yes, I think I think it's an F tier. You need a minion in order to do it, otherwise it doesn't do anything. You need to play a very specific deck in order to really get the benefits off of it. And it only upgrades it by one more, which is, you could probably consider a zero mana effect. So it doesn't do the same thing as others have done. And for a hero card, especially knowing it's a hero card, it's kind of like, what the heck, you know? <laughs> so... Uh, don't judge me. I mean, let me know, but I think this is a correct move, putting this card in the F tier. All right, Shadow Reflection. I think this is an A tier. It's an infinite value. You could do a lot of different things with it, a lot of different benefits. I mean, yes, you can't play things above 5 plus mana, but, you know, that doesn't really matter when you're considering infinite value. And if anything, if you ask me, it's probably better than Holy Touch. Just because of the extra value. A very good hero power. Build a beast. Oh god. I would put build a beast at A tier. But honestly, unfortunately, I don't think so. It's probably more right around here. I'm gonna put it slightly above Galakron's Fury with the elemental, because you can probably craft some wacky stuff. But it, it's very inconsistent. There's a lot of bad beasts, especially like neutral beasts. So it's very inconsistent. And, but, you know, does when it does pop off, it pops off really strong. So I think it's, it's roughly around a B tier type of effect. You get, you at least get to choose like what you're choosing as opposed to like Galakron's Wit, which is like terrible. Okay, the four horsemen. Hero power alone, it's, I think it's an A tier. It has the ben it has the benefit of you having to destroy the enemy hero. Like, that's really strong. There's a lot of different effects with it, you know? Like, they're, they're, like if, if your opponent literally does not act react to this in some way, shape, or form, you just win the game. And if you don't, they're kind of compelled to waste all their resources on your hero power, right? So I think uh, this card is definitely an A, A tier. You could think of it like a 2-2 with taunt or a 2-2 with uh, your, your opponent has to target this, this minion with the spell. So definitely a really good hero power. Okay, Void Shatter Form, Shadow Form, really strong, right? It's a lot of infinite value damaging. I think it's really good. Now, is it better than D Demon's Bite? Yeah, I think so. I think it's probably a B another B tier. Probably, it probably leads the B tier, to be honest. 
because it has a lot of extra benefit. You combining it with the 5-5 the five five that reduces your hero power by zero it has just the, all of the, it's basically considered a free deal two damage. Yeah, it's just a lot you could do and it, and it combines and stacks very well. So, you know, I think a B tier is rightfully so where it belongs, but you know, it does depend on, on it. But if you're considering all other cards aside, still stands at a B tier regardless. It, you could probably consider it an A tier if comp with when combined with the 5 mana 5-5, five five, reduce your hero power to zero. But it, as a standalone card, it's still really good, still really strong hero power. So anywhere from A to B tier, but I think it should stand at, at the very least at the top of the list with B tier. All right, Plague Lord. I don't think Plague Lord is as strong as people think. I think it's probably it's probably in a C tier. It's a little bit stronger than Mind Spike. It has the extra armor like armor up, but there's not that much synergy when it comes to it. So I think it's a very weak hero power. And we're looking at Shapeshift being F tier. And then when you get a hero card, uh, we're looking at the Druid hero power, the basic one. And we're looking at it going from F tier. And then, you know, when you upgrade it, it becomes a D tier. And then when you get a hero power or hero card hero power, you're looking at it being a mid D tier. Like, I don't think they're just that great of uh, effects, to be honest. I think Druid gets gutted, except for the strongest Druid hero power here. Okay, I see Touch. I think I see Touch is kind of nice. It does have a lot of benefit here. It's near infinite value, but it's kind of hard to pop off. So I think it's in the low C tier. You'll get a water elemental every maybe couple of turns or so. Maybe your opponent doesn't react to it or there's certain things and then it bumps it up. But like, it's just so hard to kind of get it. It's a cool effect. Don't get me wrong. It's a cool looking effect. Is it realistic in practice? I don't know. But, you know, it's like a ping plus, a ping plus. You know, that's all you can consider it with the extra benefit of, you know, some some extra upsides. So, all right, Bladestorm. Bladestorm's kind of nice, but it's not as strong as you would think. It deals one to all enemies. I think it's probably at a C tier as well. It probably leads the uh, in the in this category just because um, it lingers in this category because it just the inconsistency sometimes it has or you know it's it's just a doom two two mana deal one damage to all minions it's not that special and not that impactful either okay the title hand if you ask me because it's in paladin i think this card is a little bit worse than the silver hand recruit and actually now that i'm looking at it silver hand recruit should at least be above the shapeshift just like oh my god the title hand hero power is very niche in my opinion you lose the silver hand recruit right so i think it's probably at an f tier as well i mean you get some extra benefit with murloc but like it only fits into that category you lose a lot of the the synergy otherwise so i think it's really bad <laughs> I, I've never really liked it. It's kind of like in the same as these. If anything, it's probably a little bit less than these because it's so niche. <laughs> it doesn't really fit too well. That might be just my opinion. Don't judge me on that. Swat Insects. Oh my god, this is the first hero card. Or one of the first hero cards that is uh, reintroduced for the Wild expansion that they had just released, Caverns of Time. So they had introduced this in Caverns of Time, and uh, I think it's really good. So game plus two attack and wind fury, like oh my god, like that is really good. And I think this hero power, I mean when you consider it, it's basically like Demon's Bite, but plus two because it's with wind fury, and it gives your hero divine shield. So I think this hero power is more than likely right above 
right in the B tier category. Very good hero power. I mean, giving your hero divine shield is very scary. You know, especially when it comes in the, to the later game, you have to do damage to it first. Maybe ping or something like that, but it wastes it wastes resources in order for them to kind of deal with it. Now that I'm looking at it, though, Void Form should probably be in A tier because <laughs> because I'm just I've just been looking at it the entire time. Okay, Berserker throw. I think it's out of the three or four other or three other deal to damage. It's 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 kind of weak. Have you seen the animation on it? It does not look that satisfying. I think the only satisfying thing is I think there's some synergy with certain hero skins where if you use the hero power, he'll start saying some things, but it's not that cool <laughs> as opposed to these. All right, easily. Algalon's vision is F. Needless to say, I don't even need to discuss it. Obsidian's tier. Now it sits into a, a certain archetype, but there's a lot of it, so I think it has extra benefit and upside, um, where you can kind of have a a pretty huge benefit. So therefore, I think it is right around in the middle here, maybe in B tier. There's just so much you can do with it. The effect is very strong, combining to everything. You're discovering random things, you're adding random things to your hand. Like, it just becomes so good. Alright, give your minions plus two attack. Not a lot of people play this, but if you ask for my opinion, I think this is also a B tier. You need minions to play it, so it'll probably be around here. But, you know, giving even like one or two minions is not the worst thing. So... Yeah, very good. Very strong hero power. Uh, very hard to achieve, but it is still there. All right. Now, I believe this is an S tier. Now, it may not be S tier currently, but it has seen play. Uh, and Battle Cries are always going to be released. So it's always going to be scary getting extra triggers of Battle Cries as time goes on. So I think that's why I put it in an S tier is because no matter what expansion is released in this card will always see play and and new introductions of play with every single card it's ancient of blades ancient blades and this is from the hero power very strong if you ask me i think it's right above galacron's might it's basically the same thing but you get a three two weapon so you get to it's basically double the uses of it and it's immune while attacking. So it's it's overall a really strong hero power type of effect. Not as not as useful as SWAT insects in my opinion. Yes, it does have more attack and more uses for the swing, but the divine shield I believe is really useful in other cases because you can hold on to it and it it's basically an immune while attacking for another turn, you know. So I think there's extra benefit on, on having this card. But so far it's looking pretty good. I don't know what you guys think. Emperor Raps. Emperor Raps is kind of nuts. I, I'm a big fan. You need a minion to play it again. So I think it's in B tier. Uh, probably right around here. I It might actually be right here actually. Yeah, probably probably right below Pharaoh's War Mask. But summoning a 2-2 copy of different things. Uh, there's a lot of cool benefits with it. There's some, you know, copying, copying a minion is always the strongest. It's in Paladin though, so, you know, it does get a bit of a downside. Now, if it was in other classes, possibly could easily go into A tier if you ask me. But because it's in, like, Paladin, which doesn't have a lot of summon a, a copy of... The, they don't have a lot of copy benefits, so... Alright, Ascendant Scroll. Now, I think Ascendant Scroll is kind of weak, you know... We're, we're, I'm, I'm looking at like C tier, right below Icy Touch, because with the Ascendant Scroll, yeah, you get a random mage spell, it costs two less, but I don't know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel as good. With Icy Touch, you get that Water Elemental, that you get that extra benefit. It feels good, but when you hit this button, it just doesn't feel good. You just get extra value, sure, and you get it's basically you consider it like a zero mana hero power, but 
It's just not that good in my opinion. All right, so uh, Anrafet's core, um, I mean, it's not the strongest, but it is it is a card. <laughs> People always meme on it, and I get it. It's so weak hero power, but I honestly believe it's probably right around here in terms of like actual power, which is surprising, right? Because we're looking at it's a four three permanent ghoul, and if you have a weapon, you refresh it, so you could just have. As much of these, you could have two four threes for one turn, you know, for literally zero value. But it's just not good. It doesn't have any type of effects or anything. So you can definitely see why this card is weak and why Summon Pet, which is around the same stat line, why that one is strong. So, all right, Obelisk's Eye. I think Obelisk's Eye is a little bit like Heal here, but a little bit better in terms of the the benefit actually like probably like a little bit better you know i don't know it doesn't really fit into much of an archetype so it doesn't have that great of a long term you can get some buffs and stuff but with with certain cards it's just i don't know there's only so much you can do with it with a plus three plus three all right give a beast plus two plus two right in the f category it does it fits such a specific theme like it's if you're playing this it's meme dream only you know what i mean like these are meme dreams only hero powers except for your priest uh, granted priests would probably be d tier but out of out of some basics i think it belongs in f die insect it's the same same effect same category has a weaker look to it in my opinion so it's gonna be right below the actual die insect and then what does this do oh my god is that an s tier i think so dude this is a passive that casts random spells constantly it's kind of like a yog i think it's crazy it, it's kind of falls in the same category as heart of vernal as long as there are spells that exist it's going to always cast new random spells, stronger random spells. It has benefit for a lot of different things. So now I forgot to include this in the initial recording of the video, but I completely forgot about all the warlock hero powers. So we're going to just speed run through this. I think Tome of Origination, draw a card, it costs zero. It's probably around a B tier. I, I believe it's actually around an A tier. Uh, you draw a card, you know, reduce its cost to zero. It's basically a free draw with the chance of getting, you know, the most expensive cards at zero cost. So it should be right below Void Form, but a very good effect overall, especially for a quest reward hero power. Galacron's Malice, summon two 1-1 one -one imps. I think this has some extra benefit, just like the Silver Hand. If anything, possibly just as much, maybe a little bit better. With the introduction of the imps uh, archetype that we have recently, you know, there's a lot of good different types of synergy. Inferno, summoning a 6-6 six, six Inferno every single time, probably around an A tier as in terms of the hero power itself. Very strong, lots of high-end value, probably even better than lot of these here chains of dread a very good draw card with the chance to summon a 3-3 i think this is a really great hero power uh, drawing cards is always really great especially when you can draw them for free that's already at about a man and a half effect shuffling a rift that can summon a 3-3 very good i've been life life steal deal three damage very great effect Super strong. Because you get the extra lifesteal, I believe it's right above and in between Tank Up and Ghoul Frenzy. Actually, looking at it with the extra damage does put it in a little bit more of a unique spot. I believe it's possibly going to be more so right around here. Upgraded Hero Power draw a card. Very strong. Possibly one of the strongest. It's going to be possibly leading into C tier. It has consistency because it's coming from within your deck as opposed to Galacron's Wit. So there is that extra upside. Life Tap has the same 
effect, but with a downside, but it's not that bad. In my opinion, it's somewhere in between here, still in the C tier, leading in a very strong hero power. One of the strongest, if I might add, with a slight downside of taking two damage, but the two damage reduction actually is not that big of a downside, which prevents it from leading into a D tier category. But yeah, that's it for everything. We have a lot of the A tiers. We have an A tier for or S tier. We have a lot of S tiers. We have S tier for Druid, Mage, Two Mage, and Shaman. Some of the A tiers here, B tiers, C tiers here, and then D tiers. And then finally, lastly, ending with F tiers. But that's going to be it for the video, everyone. Let me know what you guys think. Are these valid? Where would you place these hero powers? Feel free to let me know. Dude, you are bonkers for putting the four horsemen in A tier or putting the priest hero power in F tier. What are you, a priest hater? Like, no, no, I'm not a priest hater. I put I put the high one in C tier. It's I love priest. It's just it's just not as good as people think as a hero power. But once again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And then again, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.